and welcome to a new video. Today I have the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with me and I've just flashed the official Android 7.0 Android Nougat beta firmware to that device. So let's check it out. So this one is the first um, beta, Android Nougat beta for the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. We don't know if there will be any other beta other than this one here. But this one is full with bugs and it's it sometimes freezes and also it's uh, also hard to use compared to the stock Android um, Marshmallow firmware. But anyway, let's take a look at this ROM now. So the device got the so-called Grace UI or Grace UX, which was um, announced with the Samsung Galaxy S. Sorry, with the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. And every app is the um, each app is the same app as in um, the Galaxy Note 7. Uh, also, the animations and also the uh, notification panel looks like the Note 7, as you can see here. It's kind of different, and it also has uh, different animations here, as you can see, just like stock Android Nougat. And you also have some six quick toggles over here. You can um, open the um, torch for example and something which I didn't like is the uh, notification as you can see in, on the notification we have a gray bar over here and it just doesn't look that nice um, to be honest so the notification panel itself also does not look that great um, I mean the notification panel in the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 was a bit different this one is more bluish and um, I don't know this one is more ugly in my opinion something which has also changed is that you need to pull down twice just like an Android um, marshmallow but now you have different pages over here so um, if we want to access to for example um, always on display you need to pull down twice and then you need to swipe and find this because um, you only have um, nine toggles uh, in one area so this is something I which I didn't like because in Nuga, uh, in Marshmallow you had air, each toggle in in one side now we have three different um, pages over here and it's just harder to navigate between them also you need to pull down twice to get to the um, brightness slider um, but there's something new now if you um, slide to the end here it will say that this could um, cause strange battery consumption and all that so yep um, something which is also new is the search bar over here if you press there you, you will get to the s finder i guess or yeah to the finder um yep but let's move on now to the settings so because the settings uh, also got that grace UI style um, you have different categories now you have a category called connections where you can um, set your Wi-Fi all that and Bluetooth then you have an option called sounds and vibration um, all that standard stuff as you can see here and also we have some Suggestions, suggestions uh, at the bottom here, which we hadn't in um, Android Marshmallow. Um, then there is something called notifications, and here you can set which apps are allowed to give you a notification. But this was also presented in um, Marshmallow. Let's go back. There is something like this called display, um, and there is something new here called blue light filter. As you can see now. Um, this is just a normal blue light filter and you can also uh, um, swipe here to make this uh, filter bigger but let's go back and deactivate that you can set the font and you can also change the resolution of the fonts to maybe to um, get a better performance or a better battery life so um, let's use it on full HD and as you can see now the phone looks more sharper now um, yeah you still have this icon frames thing um, yeah 
let's show the icons only. Um, the edge screen, I don't know if there's anything new, but I guess not. As you can see, this is the edge screen, it's the uh, same as in Android Marshmallow. Let's go back. The always on display. So um, you can see the version of the always on display is 2.0.2. Uh, 24 so this one is much newer than the um, uh, original one in the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge currently um, so let's open that and you have different layouts as you can see here um, and it also can show notifications which is really really nice um, you can also show the calendar as you can see here so standard stuff which was presented already in Marshmallow Let's go back. The categories, there's also something called status bar over here. There you can sh um, select if you want to show the um, battery percentage over there. Um, but this was already presented in Marshmallow and all other Samsung firmware. But now there's something called show recent notifications only. So this means that um, if we enable that one here, it will only show the three notifications, the three um, um, next notifications at the top here, and all other will not display at the status bar. So this is a nice feature if you don't like um, to get your status bar full with uh, notification icons there. But I don't like it, so I turn it off. And uh, yeah, let's go back now. So there's also something called wallpapers and themes. Um, here you can download wallpapers, um, just like in the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 and also you can download some themes, although there are not that many themes for that firmware yet, so oh, there's only one team I guess. And uh, yeah, let's download that, let's see how this one will look. Here I have applied the team as you can see and it has no issues as you can see and it looks even better than the stock one in my opinion because i didn't like the bluish background with the bluish um with the blue icons over there but this one makes it purple so this looks much better in my opinion um let's go to settings and see yeah these the settings gets also changed i guess every app gets changed yep and uh, yeah but let's um move on now with the settings here. There's something called advanced features. Let's go in there and you can activate smart stay and all that standard stuff, um, which we already know. So let's go back. And there's also called something like device maintenance, which was, uh, which replaces the um, smart manager. And it basically does the same as the uh, smart manager. As you can see here, done. And there's the bug with the teams, as you can see. So here is uh, text, uh, as you can see, but you can't read it because the background is too dark, uh, too dark to read it. So there are some bugs with the teams, but I'm sure that they will get fixed soon. So there's also a thing called applications, all which you already may know. And oops. Let's go to lock screen and security now. So, of course, you can set the ping up fingerprint and um, yeah, all that standard stuff. And yeah, this should be everything. You have also an, an option here called software update, which is also uh, nice to have that there. In Aaron Marshmallow, you need to go to about the device and um, you were able to software update your phone directly from here. So it's better that you have it uh, separate now. And yeah, this should be it. Let's go to the home now. So I think I'm going to um, change the team to stock team again. Um, here we have it. So yeah, so this is the stock team, and as I said earlier, every app gets redesigned. So the clock app looks like the Galaxy Note 7, 
um, and let's take a better look here so you also have the work clock over here the stop watch and the timer everything from the Galaxy Note 7 also have something called my files from here um, also nice the internet the browser which I think is also from the Galaxy Note 7 but maybe it's even newer so you have different icons at the bottom here um, yeah, and also a different whitish background here so let's open a new tab yeah, you can see yes it looks newer and it's also more fresh in my opinion so let's move on to the recents so as you can see the recents are been changed also the uh, they are now more rounded as you can see here but the bigger change is that that they are now taller as you can see in marshmallow they were like they were much um, smaller and in my opinion the reasons are bad like hell because as you can see there's a bug here when you scroll I'm not pretty sure if you can see that but it's a small glitch graphical glitch over there which I didn't like and also it's much harder to use um, um, yeah but in general I mean the um, original Android Nougat um, recents all are also much taller but actually they are much easier to use because this bug isn't there here as you can see I mean that one here and um, yeah so I hope that they will fix it with the um, oops I hope that they will fix the recent issue with the latest and uh, with the um, with the latest Android 7.0 with the next Android 7.0 beta or the finished version version and uh, yeah too much talk now let's um, take a look at the launcher and um, the launcher is also the same as the Samsung Galaxy Note 7's launcher you have this um, search option at the, the top here and you can have also the three dots over there to sort them in alphabetical order may uh, for example there's also something like contact us which I didn't like to see there but and uh, you can change that actually um, and there's also something called edit um, yeah and you can also see how the background and the app drawer gets blurred as you can see which I also liked um, in the Note 7 and yeah there's also something like the Apple's 3D touch so if you hold an app and press on it you can see that it will pop up the pop-ups um, options over here you can disable that directly from here without going to the uh, settings and you can also get the app info if you press there yep so this is it um yeah <clears throat> and something which i forgot to show is in the notification panel over here so here you have directly access to the six um toggles over here which i told you uh, earlier and if you pull it down twice you will get um more information if you press on the uh, text over here so if you press there you can directly choose the um wi-fi um, where you want to connect without going into the settings the same thing for the mobile data only so yeah it shows you more information if you press on the uh, text over here um here you can turn it on or off and there's also something called more settings if you press there it will go to the settings um option of the mobile data data and yeah same thing for the auto rotate you can directly choose with one, which one you want to have and all the standard stuff so which was presented in the in uh, the note 7 um, you also have this in torch where you can set how bright the torch uh, have to be um, yeah it's pretty nice as you can see here do not disturb also some text over there and bluetooth you can ch uh, see the list of bluetooth devices if we enable it but though i'm not going to do that now and power saving yeah it's pretty nice mate so this is the only thing in this um, notification panel which i did like 
But as I said before, we, uh, before we only see nine toggles in one page, and this is definitely not nice compared to the Android Marshmallow, where we saw, where we saw every toggle and in one area. So, um, yeah. So this is almost it. Um, yeah, the power menu is also the same, just with new icons, as you can see here. Um, yeah. I don't know what to show more. If you want to, if you want me to get uh, to make a new um, review of this ROM with things I've forgotten in this video, let me um, know that in the comments, and I will do a video again. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and peace.